you can create eye-catching text motion graphics with Canva. Although this cannot be compared to what you can do with Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, nevertheless you can create very good motion graphics with Canva alone. That's exactly what we are going to do in today's video. 80% of the text motion graphics in this video was created using Canva alone. The rest of the video were extras I made with my video editor. I'm going to show you 4 motion graphics tips and an extra video creation tip using Canva. This tutorial falls into the Canva video editing tutorial series. I would appreciate it if, at any point you get some value in the video, you hit the like or subscribe button. Also, about 40% of viewers who watch my videos to the end, don't subscribe. And over 80% of the total viewers on this channel, aren't subscribed. If you like the content on this channel, please don't forget to hit the like button and also, consider subscribing. Before we start, there are few things you need to know about Canva. The Canva editor is made up of pages. Each page contributes a section of the entire media. You can add or remove elements from each page. Text, video, icons and more are objects or elements which can be edited individually or collectively. You can export these pages in various formats. Since we are going to focus on motion graphics alone in this tutorial, it would make more sense if each word is edited and animated individually. Of course, that's how most motion graphics is done. Each word or object represents a different concept. I'm going to recreate this animation while I explain how it's done with the Canva editor. Head over to canva.com sign up for a free account if you don't already have one. Create a new video project. You can choose from the provided video formats or create your own. For this one, I'll choose 1920p by 1080p because this is the standard for YouTube videos. Use any of the templates in this category, but bear in mind that you can replace the background with anything you want. It may be a solid color, a picture, or even a video. I'm going to use a black background with white text over it. The very first thing you may want to do is, write out all the words you want to animate on a piece of paper. It makes your workflow easier and faster, as you can think easily on paper. Type in all the words into the Canva editor, and arrange them in the order you want them to appear. Each word would be a separate object. The easiest way to do this is to duplicate each object, that is each text, and change the letters. You can change the font, the style, the position, color, and size of each object from the toolbar. Just select the object and apply a list of properties and effects. When you've finished arranging the text objects the way you want it to appear, the next thing is to draft a general idea of how you would want each text or word to behave in the final animation. Now I want you to turn off every animation for that page by selecting the page and seeing that no animation is applied. Don't worry about the page timing as you can always change it later. Now I want the overall animation to look something like this. The words you and can would slide up to reveal vertically in the upward direction. The word create will have this sort of animation to give that representation of creation. The word motion would seem to skate onto the screen to mimic a sort of movement effect. I would apply the typewriter effect to the word graphics as Canva has none of the complex effects like pixelation, which you can create with Premiere Pro. For the word Canva, I want it to stomp onto the screen because that's a key word. This stomp effect wouldn't feel realistic if other words don't shake up a little bit. So I'll also cause the other words to vibrate a bit. Now that I have experimented with some motion effects to get this general idea, it's time for me to make the final animation. In order to do this, it is best for me to put each word animation on a different page. Next is to duplicate this page into as many objects as I would have. For this one, I'll duplicate into six places because that's as much words as there are. On the first page, delete every other word except the first word. Select the text, go to animation and select the slide in. For me, I'll choose the borderline animation. I'm going to apply this animation. 
I wouldn't apply for exit because I want the word to remain that way until the final page. If you select the option to apply the animation for both, then it means you are creating an entrance and exit animation for the objects at the end of the page. You don't want this, so make sure you select it only on entrance or the in animation. I'm done with page 1. On page 2, delete every other objects and leave only the first two objects. You've already animated the first object in page 1. Leave it untouched and don't change its position. Apply your animation to the second object and choose only the entrance animation. After you've done this, go to page 3 and delete every other object or text except the first three. Apply an entrance animation to the third object only, leaving the first two text objects the way they are without any animation. Repeat this procedure for every other page until you get to the last page. Let's preview the video. If you did all the steps correctly you should have something like this. So, for this final page, I'm going to apply an animation for the word, Canva, and also apply a stomp animation effect for the entire page. After selecting the last object and applying an animation to it, select the entire page and click on animation. Select stomp and apply it. If you get a preview like this, then you did all steps correctly. Now you may be wondering, how do I control the length of each animation? It's easy. Select any page and go to the timing. You can adjust the timing for each page or check the box to apply the timing to every page in the project. This is because the timing for each page matches with the timing for each animation on that page. You can't make this different if you're using the free version of Canva. Now, as a side note, all the text animations don't have to be of the same timing or length. Some need to be faster, while others need to be slower. It's up to you to figure out how long you want each animation to last, and apply the time correctly, so that it matches the voiceover, if you have one for the video. Let's take things up to the next level. If you want the motion graphics to change position as they animate, just like this one, then you can also do it. As usual, we are going to arrange the objects or words the way we want it to appear in the final animation. Make sure that no animation is applied to the entire page or any of the elements as usual. Now, we are going to duplicate this page into as many objects as we have. For this one, it's 4, so I'm going to duplicate this page into 4 places. Since I want the motion to be a vertical replacement, I'm going to change the position of each object vertically, for each page, one after another. I will do this until I get to the last page. On page 1, delete the last object. Drag the first object from its position to replace the position of the last object. Delete every other object on the screen. Apply any entrance animation to this text, as you desire. On the second page, delete the last two objects, and drag the first two objects into their positions. Delete the rest. Continue like this until you get to the last page. Apply only entrance animation for each object on any of the pages, just like we did previously. Preview your video, and it should look something like this. Now it's up to you to adjust the timing, and make sure you make some necessary tweaks to make your animation look good. Thank you, if you're still watching this video up until now.
Please make sure that you don't miss the conclusion part of this video tutorial. The buttons below are free. Click the like button and consider subscribing to this channel to get more value and also to help push the video up the ladder. I really appreciate you. What about making the text appear over your footage just like this? It's also easy to achieve. While creating the videos, you can change the background color to a bright green or bright blue color. It's just up to you to choose your background color. But make sure that the background color is completely distinct from the color of the text or any of the objects or elements on the page. Export your video. Import it into any standard video editor. Search for the chroma key effect or chroma tool. It's usually in the effects or tools sections of any standard video editor. Select the clip you just created and remove the background color using this chroma key effect. Your text animates over your footage just like this. There you have it. What if you want the video footage to be shown through the animated texts just like this one? It's also easy. While creating your footage in Canva, make sure to use two contrasting colors for the background and for the text. White color texts over completely black background is the best. Click to render and export the clip. Load it up into any video editor. Select the clip as overlay on top of a background footage. This time, you are going to apply the blending effects onto this clip. The blending effect, just like the chroma key effect, modifies the way the overlay video interacts with the background footage. It can also be found in the tools or effects sections, depending on the video editor you are using. There are several blending options. Choose the Multiply Blending Effect. And your background footage can now play through the text like this. Now that you can create some good motion graphics with Canva, it will be useful that you also know that Canva has a lot of already made text animation or motion graphics. Some of them require Canva Pro to edit and use, while the rest are completely free. You can go through the template section and search extensively until you find a video template that suits your needs. You can edit all the elements on the templates and make some minor adjustments until you get what you want. I didn't want this video to be longer than 10 minutes. But there's a whole lot you can do with Canva when it comes to motion graphics. You can create stuff like these. Now I bet you didn't know that you can create subtitles for any video using Canva. It's not part of what Canva was designed to do, but there's a creative way to use motion graphics in Canva to create subtitles, just like these. If you are a content creator and you would want to use Canva, subscribe to make sure that you never miss out on any of my weekly Canva tutorials, as I have a whole lot of them. You can also check out other videos on this channel, and I promise you'll find something interesting. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next video.